you'll see. This is my team builder. So my opponent has a team of a Feromosa, a Skarmory, Quagsar, Entei, Chansey, Bisharp, Gudra, Crobat, Sceptile, Raichu, Hatterim, and Dragonair. So immediately I see that Feromosa is a very big threat. And then he kind of has a stally core with Skarmory, Quagsar, and Chansey. So I have to figure out how to break the stall core, but I also have to figure out a way to stop Feromosa. Then he's got some other very threatening Pokemon in Entei and Bisharp. Gudra is something that's actually kind of hard to take down and can spread a lot of damage across my team. Crobat is a very fast Pokemon, and as the nasty plot said, it's actually very scary. Sceptile, if he brings it, he's probably going to bring it to counter my grassy terrain, maybe some grassy seed unburden stuff. Raichu is actually pretty scary if it's a nasty plot set, so I have to be careful. Hatterim is mainly just a hazard deter, and Dragonair, I don't really expect him to bring Dragonair. So when I was going into this team, I had to first figure out a way to break the stall core, and my first two Pokemon do that. So Zara Aura, just pure offense with Plasma Fits, Knock Off, Grass Knot, and Play Rough. Play Rough is mainly for the Gudra, but also uh, it hits Raichu pretty hard. And actually, I don't have that much damage, like direct fast damage on my team for Raichu. And I don't want it to just nasty plot and sweep me. Plasma Fist, Plasma Fist and Grass Knot hit the entire stall core very hard, right? Because Grass Knot does a ton to Quagsire. And then Knock Off is mainly there to just take off items, which is very good. And then another way to break through the stall core was uh, Victini. Victini really tears apart his entire team. I have Substitute here because... Bisharp can Sucker Punch, and I want to be able to substitute on a Sucker Punch and then maybe V-Create, or I can substitute on a Switch into Quagsire, knock it out with Energy Ball, and then proceed to V-Create something else. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, Charcoal's here, so at, a, so at neutral, I actually two-shot Gudra with V-Create, which is very, very, very good. I think it also, it also two-shot something else. I need to check. What does it do? Oh yeah, it has a chance to two-shot Entei as well, which is very good. And this is originally what I was trying to prep for. And the speed here is for a uh, Adamant Entei, but also at a uh, minus one, I can outspeed most defensive Gudra. And here, the speed is for Adamant Feromosa, but it also outspeeds Crobat, which I thought was important. Maltic here is a very defensive Pokemon. It can take two hits from anything, including Feromosa, Entei. The only thing it can't take two hits from is Sceptile, but I, I don't really expect him to bring Sceptile, so that's okay. And yeah, it's mainly just the stop setup, like maybe he tries to bring some sort of Calm Mind Entei. Yeah, so mainly this thing just stops Entei, it also kind of stops Bisharp and yeah. And then Weezing here. Weezing here is a taunt lead. I can actually lead this against Skarmory. I speed creeped it, and I can just taunt Flamethrower. Flamethrower also knocks out Feromosa most of the time, and this thing just straight up walls Feromosa. Pain Split can take advantage of Chansey's very high HP, and Toxic is mainly for a lot of switch-ins to Weezing, like, you know, Quagsar can switch into Weezing, I can just Toxic and then switch out. Then, my Defogger here is Thunderous. This thing, uh, Volt Switch for Momentum, I can Defog, but I can also a Thunder Wave the Feromosa, which is very important, because Feromosa is just incredibly threatening. Also, Weezing takes two hits from Feromosa. And then for my last Pokemon, I wanted a Girder. Girder is another... Pokemon that can just take hits from Feromosa, spread knockoff, and the bulk up plus Drain Punch is actually pretty good. Like, if he doesn't bring Roar on Skarmory, then I can really just set up bulk ups all over it and just start Drain Punching. Ice Punch is nice for like Gudra and Cro Gudra, Crobat, and Gu. Wait, what? And Sceptile, so yeah. Overall, this just gives me a another defensive piece which does well against my opponent. And yeah, let's go through why I didn't bring some of the other stuff. Uh, Rillaboom kind of gets walled by Skarmory and Entei, right, because Entei just outspeeds and goes for Sacred Fire, and it takes way too much damage from Feromosa. It doesn't really have a good Gudra matchup, because he's probably going to bring Sab Sipper. Sabtal can take advantage of it, and Crobat, like, Rillaboom doesn't do that well against Crobat, so I was like, you know what, I can just leave Rillaboom off. And then, Mammal Swine, it doesn't do that, I mean, Feromosa hits it very hard, Entei outspeeds it and can burn it. And then Skarmory, like, there's no way that Mammal Swine two-shot Skarmory, unless I run, like, Choice Band, which I'm not doing that. So, yeah. And then, okay, Slurpuff. Again, like, I can run a special set with, like, Flamethrower, but then it kind of gets walled by Chansey. 
and also Bisharp does really well against this. So I was like, like I can run Babiri Bear with Flamethrower, but I was like, I don't really need it. Maybe I can use this thing to patch wishes, but I saw Girder as a much more important Pokemon as a defensive piece. And also Girder gives me a stability against Bisharp, which could try to set up on me. Because I because I might have to play a mind game with substitute versus V create on Victini. Tyrantrum just doesn't break through the Quagsire uh, Skarmory, so I was like, no. Cryogonal just it just doesn't do well, right? Against Entei or Pheromosa or Bisharp. So I was like, no. And then Berserker just can't break through Skarmory Quagsire. And it and it just dies to Pheromosa. Uh Bisharp can set up all over its and uh, Gudra can just flamethrower. So I was like, you know what? No, I don't need that. So this is why I brought these six Pokemon. It should be able to beat him, right? Like, barring that I don't play bad. So let's look through. So if Pheromosa comes and tries to Quiver Dance, I can just Haze with Milotic. I can Flamethrow with Weezing. Uh, he can't really set up on Zero Aura. Victini, he can't set up on. And so my goal against Pheromosa, I just Thunder Wave it, or I beat it with what I have out at the moment. Skarmory, like, I'm going to lead Weezing in this game and just Taunt, Flamethrow, or Paint Split Toxic. Weezing actually beats Chansey and Skarmory, which is really cool. I can also taunt and Toxic and paint split the Quagsire, which is really interesting. And, uh, yeah. Just overall, Weezing and Milotic... Weezing, Milotic, Thunderous, and Girder seem to handle his team very well, while Victini and Zero Aura just offensively destroy his team. So, yeah, that's my plan. I'll have to play well if I want to win, but, yeah. And also, I'm going up against the Rillabooms, and that's their mascot, so... That's interesting. So yeah, stay tuned for the battle. And I actually recorded this before the battle, so I don't even know what happens in the battle. So yeah, bye bye